All right, hello everyone. So this morning, Saturday morning in the US, Uranus went retrograde in Taurus. This is meaningful. So we wanna speak a little bit about what this reflects and sort of the larger theme that's emerging over the next several months. So Uranus always associates with natural, natural associations that come with being what we are. There are always resonance that we share with other people, community, friends, and these associations aren't so much like, I'm choosing you to be my friend and my community. As we come into our own being, who we are, our natural self, we resonate unintentionally, spontaneously, it's like a self-emerging process with our people. And it's a process that's universal. The universe, the, the cosmos themselves come together and organizes in a way that really reflects the way creation is. That our way of being together, one holder? Mm -hmm. That our way of being together and living here together, being in community, in its most essential expression is like a microcosm, is a fractal of how the universe itself is. And it's only our conditioning and our preferences and our um, attempts to fit into constructs of who we are, who we should be, and what life should be, and how we should live together that touches upon these natural, spontaneous expressions. So that's Uranus in general. And when Uranus goes retrograde, there can be that fear, that insecurity of you know, wanting to associate with what's known, with what's familiar, with what's comfortable. Especially in Taurus, there's a movement towards, okay, there's a stabilization, there's a ground happening, and there's no context for it. Taurus wants familiarity, it wants to feel secure. Uranus says, this has nothing to do with what you know already. And it's not like it has to be like a surprise, because it's not about you're always gonna be surprised with Uranus. It's more about the unconditioned mind can't be contained, owned, or possessed within a context that reflects the past, within a context that we're familiar with. How's it going? Pretty good. Did they head down to the garden? No, I think we're gonna do a potluck right over here. Okay. Yeah, we'll be done in a moment. And so, it naturally brings up the insecurity. You know, will I have what I need? Taurus, will I be alone? Will I be isolated? Will I resonate with anyone else? That's the whole thing with Uranus and Taurus. Socially, there can be that social isolation. Do I connect with anyone? You know, do we share the same values? And you just have to appreciate that a part of the cycle, it's bringing in to harmony and to balance a natural rhythm, like the universe kind of finding its balance and we're one with that, we're a part of that. And so this first piece that I just wanna offer is what's beginning to unfold right now is the beginning of our lives together and how we live, how we know each other, how we survive, how we connect. It's, it's, ex it's coming into a more, you know, you're honest, it's always higher intelligence because it's clearer thinking, it's touching upon the way life is. <laughs> and so we just have to appreciate that there's a lot for us to learn. So to be present with any kind of anxiety of survival, how am I gonna get my needs met? Am I gonna be alone? Am I gonna be with my people? Like all those things are actually traumatic elements within the collective right now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean there's an, an, uh, that there is some sort of doomsday scenario that is bound to result. And there's been so many shifts and changes happening right now because of COVID and everything that's been happening economically as, and socially. So it's creating space for a completely new way of thinking. Who do you want? Who do you want to hold you? Both of us. Both of us. <laughs> yeah. So together we do a lot better than we do apart. And that's one of the teachings. We just have to appreciate that there are ways of thinking that we're just figuring out right now. And I, I think one of the things that you said earlier, which was really interesting to me, which is the way this particular retrograde now is sort of giving us space or even going back over the preparation of a life we can't even know. And that is coming with the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius and then the square to Uranus, which will happen. But like, 
what is underway right now is such a huge change and we can see just even in the short time that COVID has been present, um, the change, like the deep dire need for community and for our people. And there's this way in which the collective um, is inside of a superior intelligence that is always moving us in a way that we often can't see at the time. You know, I heard a story earlier today that sort of reminds me of this. A man walks into a shop and um, just happens to see a woman who's talking about homeopathy and um, happens to like ha take a moment to talk to her about this stomach ailment he's had for a while and in an instant his whole life changes because of that moment thus he ends up getting the remedy that he needs and healing himself in a really miraculous way and then his whole life path shifts and this is this is the way in which Uranus and Taurus can operate in terms of bringing the collective together where for in a moment we didn't really understand at the time the whole earth shifts and our our entire life path changes towards healing towards collective unity and towards um, greater security and stability in the things that can be provided when people come together in community food water energy um, sharing resources um, in a way that is beautiful and life-affirming but not necessarily the particular path that our minds would think. It's like an intelligence that's beyond the, the limited thinking. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, what's really interesting is, so the retrograde is going to last until January, at which time Mars, who is in Aries right now, will have just entered Taurus. So when, when Uranus goes direct, it'll be with Mars. <laughs> Oh and so God. Mars will be in Aries, you know, until I'm looking at the wrong place. Mars will be in Aries until pretty much when Uranus goes direct. So it's like all this energy is being shaken up right now. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going to land. It's very life changing. And then in that time, Jupiter and Saturn will enter Aquarius and square this Uranus Mars. So we can obviously see we're in for some pretty big radical changes, but happening in the fixed signs. Aquarius, Taurus, which is really fundamental. How are we living? How are we stabilizing and grounding? So, and we're if in for we're it. all headed towards thrivalism, if everything, you know, this mm, is like a thrivalism, that, thrivalism, right? The tribe, the um, the nature of thriving from an inside-out perspective, not from an outside-in perspective. If that's the ultimate goal and the destination of a of a survival mentality actually evolving society towards greater unity and thus greater thriving where you know parents have community and support where nothing in life is actually meant gifts. to be nuclear like the whole right. nuclear anything <laughs> it's you know so there, there's just like this the shaking up of the structures we know are very much because there's a a, a self-emergent way that's very um, in flow with how life actually is and this is this is like the retrograde learning so welcome to that chapter <laughs> yeah. may it be fun and exciting and full of nourishment yeah and may we be restful and peaceful during it too yes